live at the command center again gw solo usa guys as you watched the video yesterday um previous vid um days how you connect parallel connection or how to parallel batteries so three kilowatt each three kilowatts here bmx connectors so bus bars those will be my solid connection for the negative bus bar and this is the positive i decided to use this it has orange color so that makes it perfect for positive so i connected these batteries last night and you guys have seen the voltage and they're all um, um identical or they're all the same they're all balanced so guys we're talking about balancing here i'm going to show you how to the easiest way you balance your batteries it doesn't matter since this is a solid brick is a 67.2 volt 67.2 volts i just do this because there's no discrepancy on the batteries but i decided to do this way and show you how you bottom balance or how you manage your batteries or without using a bms battery management system but you can do it this way and tie them for about a few hours or maybe overnight or something and you're going to end up coming with a, a perfect balanced cells so this is how you balance your lithium cells or balancing your lithium batteries or balancing balancing your uh, uh battery cells either or so this is the way and uh, a parallel positive positive negative negative tie them together they're supposed to be the same specification they have to be the same uh, um, 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 amps and the same uh, voltage and uh, what I mean the same specification so I would recommend that you use them for just um, the same manufacturer so don't try to use a different manufacturer to this but if they have the same specs I will say okay it's the same chemistry I think I would say I th it is okay, but you do whatever you want to do. But for the mere fact, uh, the way I'm concerned, this is the way um, I'm doing mine, and I just want to show you how I've done mine, and uh, it has been working, and uh, it will continue to work. For the meantime, or for the mere time, I'm not using BMS. I'm not planning to. But it's not going to be the option is not going to be off the table but um there's a possibility but at this point no okay because this is all about science this is how you find out information for yourself this is how you come up with fact detail how you go about it so there are consequences anytime you do things or advantages and disadvantages well you just have to make the call you're taking the risk for yourself and um, you go about it and do what you gotta do it costs a lot of money and you put your know, money at stake but balancing so far your batteries and this is not gonna hurt you at all there's no effect there's no effect uh, on this to say you're gonna hurt your batteries no you just trying to put the voltage all together okay guys thank you so much for watching and um i will show you these guys who might probably go back to the, finally go back today in action to the battery box where he's going to be replacing the uh the nissan leaf will be out on the box while these guys the uh, chrysler pacifica 2017 Chrysler Pacifica will be entering the battery box at the command center. All right, so let's keep it that way and see how everything works for us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your um, your support and your likes and guys with the great comments. And I really appreciate you guys and thank you so much for everything. Being with me all the years. And um, I hope you learn something. It's not just like following me. I hope you learn something. You're learning something. I want you to utilize that for yourself. And uh, if you find the information useful. All right. We all do mistakes. Some people like what I do. Some people don't. 
it's okay. We don't have to like everything that someone does or we don't have to agree on everything. But we have to come to a common ground. And this is the common ground I'm trying to bring right here for everybody to understand. You can go lead, or you can go BMS. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother the other person. It bothers the other person. And uh, this is me. This is what I want to do. And that's what I'm doing. And I hope everybody understand that. We all have our own opinions. We all have our own likes. The advantage and disadvantage about BMSs and not using BMSs. Some people talking about safety, about fire and risk. But you have to know. You know your system. You know how you're going to push it. You know the limits. You know um, where you can go high or low. So when you have that precaution, you have that thing on your head, you cannot just do overload a system like um, um, it doesn't have a limit. So, guys, this is the thing. And um, uh, we've done it again. And we move into Chrysler Pacifica as I'm waiting for... Uh, the rest of the batteries, you can see all the BMS connectors right there. Uh, I see you even have the plugs. And as a back, you can see the same thing at the front is the same thing on the back. So you can daisy chain all these batteries. Love you guys all, and thanks for watching. And this is how you balance or bottom balance your battery or equalize your battery or you equalize or balance your lithium uh, battery cells so they can be run at equilibrium and they can be balanced and they can be they don't go out of balance and the voltage stays the same maintaining on all the batteries there mind you is a eight batteries here eight cell eight cell sorry eight cell so that's going to be a 16s so i have two of them down there so that would be a 32 if i go in series I'm not going series, I'm going parallel. So I'm just going to keep on adding the, the stacks all the way here. So, so far so good. I don't want to say this is all I'm going to do, but I'm going to be trying to um, get in the, um, the Volkswagen and the Ford Focus and the Chrysler Pacifica battery I'm going to be probably settled with. Who knows? But uh, Nissan batteries are great. They're easy to configure. They're user-friendly and uh, they are not as expensive like these other batteries okay you can go with them if you want to and they all have preference those are 66 amp hours and these are 45 amp hours and the ford focus is a 75 amp hours and uh no sorry the ford focus is uh, uh 68 amp hours the volkswagen is a uh, 75 amp hours so I just want to clear that and thanks for watching. This is how I balance the batteries and this is how if you want to do that to use this method. There's a copper bar and this is come from a Nissan Leaf uh, battery and um, uh, um, I got it from Nissan Leaf battery. So if you dissect the battery, this is all the, the, the bus bar interconnects that you can get from them. Okay, well, like and subscribe to the channel as you always do and share the video and make sure you turn the notification bell for the next project thank you and have a wonderful day bye for now